I, I came back home and I wrote an article, two or three paragraphs for the Daily Californian and I said I'd like to start a student group and if you're interested call me and I gave my phone number and I just used Bob you know no last names in those days and meanwhile thing this was spring 1969 things were hopping in Berkeley <laughs> it was the height of the anti-war protests and all of that Uh, the, the day before it was supposed to uh, be published, my article was People's Park. And my, they cut off the last paragraph that had my name and phone number. <laughs> so it said, I'd like to start a, a, a group, but so, <laughs> you know. And so, the, so then it was at a, a couple more meetings in San Francisco where they introduced me to, uh, to David, Dave Herman and um, um, Sam Bittoni, I think was his name. One, both were students here. One was a graduate student. I was in graduate school also. You understand grad school is more subjective than undergraduate. You, you, they have to, your committee has to agree that what you've done is sufficient. And so he, whichever was the, the grad student, was not willing to sign. It takes three signatures to form a student, or did in those days, to form a student group. You file it with the dean's office and um, I was willing, I, at that point, I had decided that, uh, well, kind of, kind of the conservative view was in those days that was that we should all at least be thrown in jail, we should got, be gotten rid of, but the liberal viewpoint was we were psychologically screwed up. And I decided uh, when I came out that I might be psychologically screwed up, but not nearly as much as somebody who cares about me, what I'm doing in bed. And so I just wasn't going to put up with any of that. And, and uh, so I, you know, I just, if I, if it hurts my career, tough, I'll find something to do. And so, uh, so um, had our first meeting. So we, our first name was Students for Gay Power. And after a few meetings, we realized that, that none of the students were there, or very few of them were there for gay power. They just simply felt isolated, as I did. And they just wanted to meet other gay and lesbian people. There were uh, women show, and lesbians showing up too. And so we uh, very quickly, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure we did it in the, within the fall, changed our name to Gay Student Union. We, we would meet uh, once a week on campus. We were a regular registered uh, student group and entitled to use the facilities. And um, we would just sit around and, and talk and get to know each other, basically. To, to know that there's somebody else out there like me that isn't a weirdo, <laughs> you know, or whatever we thought. I mean, it, it was, it was like um, before. Then it was like um, it just didn't exist.